Here we go, 16,113. We've got the 10 break. And again, Jeff, you know what? We've had this conversation quite a few times. I don't think anyone, anyone in the world should expect any new business to take out giants right away. Right? At the end of the day, they're still a relatively brand new company comparatively to P Beckett PSA. I think they've done phenomenal with what they've done already in the several years or whatever, four or five years they've done it. I think it's impressive already. Portrait of Hellebuck for the Jets. We've got a checklist of Lafreniere and Crapsaw for the Rangers. Dazzlers of Ben Bishop for Dallas. Canvas of Vasilevsky for Tampa. But Glenn, yeah, I don't know which uh, if you should wait or not wait. I would presume getting in it getting it in sooner than later is probably better. If I had to guess. But I cannot. I don't know. I do like the guarantee aspect of it, though. Bellows for the Islanders. So, to me, like, if you did the one-month or the uh, four-month guarantee, at least you know exactly what you're getting. And if they miss it, you're getting money back. Portraits for Carolina of Aho. And I don't like, I don't ever mind getting free, uh, free cards graded if they miss it. I will happily take that. How sweet would that be? Here's your 50 card graded order for free. But yeah, I don't know on the group break end of it what's uh, how that's gonna change the timing, but I gotta figure that one out. But so overall, seems like most of you guys. Think that's good? Velarde Portraits Rookies for LA. Absolutely, Jeff. Have a good one. Kivaranta Dallas Stars Young Guns. Pasternak for the Boston Bruins Dazzlers. Canvas of Morgan Riley for the Maple Leafs. Yeah, I think it sounds good. I can't see many negatives. I know some people might not like like how long the services are, but then go to a faster service. Patrick Kane for the Hawks. As I said, the only thing I'd be worried about is they go above two hundred bucks or one hundred and fifty bucks in a two day. Young Gun to Frankus. I think they can absolutely. Frankus, Young Guns. I think they can absolutely get up to about a hundred ish. So I think anywhere around there is fair. If it's a guarantee money back. Um, honestly, Casey, not really. I, I can tell you when I submit my cards or the CNC submits cards um, for the store, I just do an eye check. I'm generally pretty decent at knowing if it's going to be like a nine, nine and a half. Like, you can tell, okay, if, can I visually see a few ding corners? I think if you do, then don't expect a 10 or a nine, five. But yeah, no, there's no tools that I use other than just inspecting. Marky Rookie Retro of Prisky for the Panthers. Yo, Levy for Vancouver. Young Guns. Tim Stutzel. Speaking of grading, I do recommend getting that one done as well. Ottawa Senators, Tim Stutzel. Realistically though, KZ, the way I look at the future of hockey cards, or cards in general, is every big card eventually is going to be graded. Fox Canvas for the Rangers. I feel like it's the next step of just like the evolution of trading cards. Marky Rookie of Joseph Wool for the Maple Leafs. Because as more and more people invest big money, they want to make sure their cards are good. Della Andrea for the Dallas Stars. 
Canvas retired for the Blues of Pronger. Not too bad. Yeah, but here's the thing, Casey. I guarantee selling that card's going to be a lot easier for you than if you didn't uh, get it graded. Pogonski. Young Guns for the Blues. I don't know about you guys, but people on eBay have been way more pickier over the last two years than ever. So having cards graded, I've literally dealt with no issues. Portraits of Lafreniere for the Rangers. If it's an eight, they know it's an eight. That's what they're buying. McLeod for the Oilers. Marky Rookie. Because it gets very annoying when people buy a card. It's clearly like you can, we put in the notes, okay, there's minor flaws, whatever. Then they get the card and like it's not a 9-5. It doesn't look like that. The thing is, though, Jeff, and this is just my opinion, and I don't disagree with you. I do see there's a lot of, even when we, when we have guys come uh, bring in cards to our store, there's a lot of ridiculous cards, in my opinion. But to be fair, Jeff, three years ago, when people bought brought in a Platinum McDavid card that sold for about 10 bucks, I would have said the same thing. And now a nine of that sells for like 100, 150 bucks US. So maybe that's why people do it. I don't know. Marky Rookie for the Oilers of Skinner. Canvas of Tavares for the Maple Leafs. So maybe they just hope that the card's going to go up. I don't know. Thurkoff Young Guns for the Blue Jackets. Portraits, Rookies, Belzeal for the Habs. Marky, Rookie of Kibaranta for Dallas. KZ, did I ever tell you that story of the uh, Eichel card that we got graded? The cup one? Marky, Rookie for the Hawks event whistle. Anna Jones for the Jackets, Dazzlers. Did I ever tell you that one? Or do you ever remember hearing that one? Ty Smith, Young Guns for the Devils. And a canvas of Kemper for the Coyotes. Let's do the glossy packs. Crapsaw for the Rangers, glossy. Della Andrea for Dallas. Crapsaw gold, glossy for the Rangers. No? Wait one second. Karushev gold for the Hawks. Krapsov regular for the Rangers. Della Andrea gold for the Dallas Stars. Cot for the Avalanche. Norris for the Sens. Baudin for the Hawks gold. Velarde for the LA Kings. Benson for the Oilers. Josh Norris gold for the Ottawa Senators.